As the coronavirus cases spike, hospitals struggling around the country are sounding the alarm. Beaumont Health says its eight hospitals will soon reach capacity for ventilators and protective gear. President and CEO of Beaumont Health, John Fox, joins us via Skype. John, thanks so much for being with us now in Beaumont Health, Michigan's largest health care system. We mentioned you have eight hospitals. What are the numbers as far as COVID-19 cases look like right now at your facilities? Well, right now, and again, we were at zero two weeks ago. We have about 800 COVID-19 inpatients uh, across our facilities uh, at Beaumont Health. We're also treating a lot on an outpatient basis uh, who are quarantined at home. So it's definitely accelerating. We're growing by over 100 inpatients a day for the last three or four days here in the Beaumont Health System. I know the big concern for you and for so many is that your hospitals are near capacity with the ventilators. Talk about some of the other things you're struggling with right now and how people watching could potentially help. Well, I think the key for the people watching is to follow the public health guidance. Uh, anything that we can do to slow the contagion, social distancing, hand washing is critical, will help the entire healthcare sector better deal with this and flatten that curve that everyone talks about. The one other thing I'd say is that we have to stay operational for all the non-COVID-19 patients. Uh, we have multiple trauma centers. We have people who come in with heart attacks. We have uh, 18,000 births a year, uh, numerous other healthcare issues that we need to maintain. And one of the biggest uh, issues we face now is protecting those patients so that we can take care of them and protecting them from potentially uh, contracting the COVID-19 virus, which is why we're cohorting all our COVID-19 positive patients on special units where uh, the virus can be contained and managed and we can be effective with those patients. Well, John Fox of Beaumont Health, thank you and your entire staff for all that you're doing to keep Michiganders safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you and thank you for your coverage. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.